Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Our colors are 24K Gold Extreme Machine by DecoArt. We have Golden's Payne's Gray mixed with some Da Vinci Indigo. I have Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex. And I have Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebio. And there was a little gushy thing there. Let's just get that out. We'll put it right there. Anywho, um, so then I also have Artist Loft Soft Body White Acrylic Paint uh, mixed two to one. So all my colors, with the exception of the gold, are mixed two to one. Two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And what I have here is half a sphere. And I figured, why not pour over that a little bit something different. I am actually going to put a bit of a puddle here. And I'm going to move it out just a smidgen. That way the paint will flow freely. And maybe I'll do two, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna throw some beautiful color on the canvas. Or maybe I'll do it right here, why not? And what else? I think that's it. So I am going to layer up my cup with a little bit of white. Don't mind the falling of the other cup. A little bit of gold. Come in with the iridescent green yellow and a little drizzle of gold. We're going to add some white there. And we'll come back with a little more of this. What else? Well, let's do a little bit of white. So that's the first cup. I think I'm going to do one more cup. Whereas I am going to mark that this is my main base color here. Gold. And I come in with the bright aqua green. Pebio. Let's come in with a dark color again. And then we're going to come in with white, the gold, and we'll do the green, yellow, and the blue. So I have two layered cups. I think that's going to be plenty of paint for this canvas. I am going to put a little more here. I don't know. Kind of feeling like I should keep it in the middle because this is a 16 by 20. Yeah, we'll do that. That's okay. And we are going to start the process. Just going to let it run down. so pretty and then I'm gonna come in I'm gonna pour some of this off over here there we go I actually like that just the way it is but we gotta keep things moving
then we're going to scrape the cup. I think we're just going to add a little ring here. There we go. All right. Let's see. Maybe we could just keep that just like that. It's pretty. So now it's just kind of coming back to the middle. And I am going to come in here and wreck this one. No, I don't like the middle of that being all white. I kind of remembered that being as a possibility. So I have that third cup that fell on the floor. And actually, I don't think I want to use one this big. I want to get a smaller one. So what we're going to do is layer up this little baby. a little bit of colors like just tiny bits and come in like that to actually some gold here. And there we go. So I am gonna come in, let me come this way so you guys can see. Just hit that. That's all right. Okay. 
Okay. I want to try and merge them. There's a little bit of a white area there. All right, I think I'm gonna stop right there. We're gonna give it a torch. I'm gonna start moving it. I am gonna move it to this corner first. come down here Definitely want it to lock in that side so that I can maneuver everything else. I'm keeping an eye on my composition. I'm gonna go like this and like that because I'm okay with losing that edge. Good gracious, that's gorgeous in there. I'm gonna come back down over here and I'm gonna try and not lose much of this so we really have to move the paint down and then over to the corner of course trying not to lose things doesn't always pan out <laughs> so there is a little more of it there which is good we're going to come over here. I feel like this is where I'm gonna stop. Here we go. All right. Well, this one is complete and uh, we'll take a look at it in a few minutes. Let me just clean up my area.